Joining us is London Center for Policy Research Senior, senior Fellow Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer. Uh, good to see you this morning. Good to see you. Good uh, morning. Yeah, good morning, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer. What's your reaction to all of this? Well, first on the ceasefire, I think it's imperative that something be done, and I think the Russians are working very closely with the Syrian government to find a path forward. And let me point out something inconvenient here. Uh, Secretary uh, uh, Kerry is uh, not, not absent. Uh, our role in this has completely been uh, basically undermined by uh, the, the, this administration's bad policy. So right now, we, are, we have no role. Uh, with that said, I think the Russians are actually trying to do something very positive here. Please don't take this as me being pro-Russian. I'm saying that you, you need to find a way to bring stability to help the people of Aleppo. And the international community has completely been feckless in this. So I think it's good that the Russians are doing this. And I think it's good that we maintain uh, with the Russians a full, full court press and going after ISIS and al-Qaeda elements uh, within the region. Yeah, and meantime, sticking with Russia, the U.S. Uh, colonel is reportedly planning on right. punishing Russia for their right. alleged hacking during the elections. Right. Uh, are, you, are you supportive of that? I'm supportive of the truth, and I, I'm not convinced the Russians were the ones actually behind the hack. With that said, the Russians are constantly hacking us. Think about this. Why now, after eight years, is the Obama administration only now paying attention to this? The Russians have been doing the hacking going into our infrastructure for the past eight years. Many of us, to include myself, have been saying, you need to pay attention to this, and they didn't. I'm not convinced that, that the, the WikiLeaks release were, you know, done by the Russians. With that said, you, the, the, the White House is obligated to prov pro provide the American people evidence because they're putting us on the path to, uh, to potential conflict with the Russians. This is no small issue. Uh, so at this point in time, Sandra, I think this is all science fiction. This is like a bad episode of Lost in Space. Wow. Uh, this White House has never shown the ability to, to actually draw a red line and say if you cross it, something is going to bad happen. So I think this is all posturing. I think this is a, an attempt by President Obama to poison the relationship between the Russians and the United States uh, for the incoming Trump administration. I don't see any real well, action. I think it's all line. They'll say that they are, but then they won't actually. Well, giving us well, sort of an idea about how the next administration might handle this, Colonel, uh, here's what yeah. President-elect Trump said about Russia's possible hacking involvement yesterday. Sure. I think we ought to get on with our lives. I think the computers have complicated lives very greatly. Uh, the whole you know, age of computer has made it where nobody knows exactly what's going on. We have speed, we have a lot of other things, but I'm not sure you have the kind of security that you need. It's just an anti-computer. <laughs> we, we were all catching the beginning part of, uh, of the president-elect statement there, Lieutenant right. Colonel. Uh, but what, what's your reaction to that? Well, look, he's got essentially a, a, an everyday guy's view of what goes on. We don't actually know exactly what happens. And I've seen the reports put forward to the media regarding who, who they think did the hack. Well, the Democrats paid for some of those companies to do the assessment. So, gee, do you think maybe the, if the Democrats paid for it, it's going to be pro-democratic, you know, in their view? So I think we have to sit back. Uh, and uh, look, all these anonymous sources, this, this anonymous per is get, person is getting around this town. Uh, John Brennan has been one of the anonymous sources, and he's doing it based on my information, based on, on his uh, being told to do so by President Obama. So it, take everything you're hearing with a great deal of suspicion. So I think Mr. Trump is very wise to say, look, we just don't know enough about who did what. Uh, with that but said, th I think uh, he and others are for the idea of investigating to find out. Right. And are you, you are too, uh, Tony. Oh, you, you, yes. Release the intelligence. And even Senator Lindsey Graham said, if, if we're going to lay sanctions on Russia over this and go after Russia, just wait for the next administration to do it. But release right. the intelligence, right. have an investigation, Precisely. and take action if necessary. Precisely. And I think, yeah, that's why I, what I'm saying is this is all posturing. This is all very unhelpful, very negative posturing by this White House. It's, it's, look, President Obama is being petulant. And again, let's look at the fact that this is all through, quote, unquote, anonymous sources. Why on earth would you consider a major military and intelligence and operations campaign against a challenge in the United States via anonymous sources. It's and totally irrational. The first time we've ever seen Democrats be concerned about Russia at all. Mitt Romney was mocked so right. much for being concerned. And now that it's politically expedient, very <laughs> concerning. Mm. Right, absolutely. 